Okay guys, I thought I'd create a video. I've had some friends ask me on how to get ProPresenter 7 automation working with playback. I know there's some videos out there on Ableton. Nothing super specific on playback. It's the same principle, but I'm going to walk you through it. I've actually deleted all my connections, and we're going to go start to finish. So the first thing you probably need to set up if you haven't done so already is the audio MIDI setup. So on your Mac, if you don't know where it is, you can hit the spotlight search and just type in audio MIDI setup. You want to click on that. And this is probably what will be default, is this audio devices. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to see the MIDI studio. So you're going to go up here and hit this window tab, show MIDI studio. Okay, and then we're going to do this cons assuming you want a wireless connection. That's what I'm going to focus on on this one. Um, even if it's a wired connection with Ethernet cable, this is the same principle that applies. If you're doing it through your Mac, that's where the IAC driver comes in. But on this video, we're specifically focusing on doing a wireless uh, connection from wherever you, your computer may be to your iPhone. Okay, so we're going to hit this little globe. So we open MIDI Studio, we're going to hit this little globe, and you can see right off the bat... The MIDI network setup. There's something called Session One. Now you can retitle this if you'd like. You can call it um, Playback Automation, or you can simply leave it Session One. It doesn't matter. The Bonjour name is the name of your device. Like my device is called Vincent's MacBook Air, and this are the these are the available devices on your network. So if you have an iPad or another computer, they will all show up right now. Uh, over here. Um, for this particular example, I've just got my iPhone. couple quick tips that will get this thing, you know, up and running. Your network needs to be the exact same. Even if it's there's a 5 gigahertz or a 2.4 gigahertz network, it needs to be the computer and the iPhone need to be on the same uh, networks, the same router, okay? So once you open your MIDI network, MIDI network setup, you're going to select the device that playback's on. For me, it's my iPhone. You hit connect, and you'll see over here that we have my name as a participant, and this little gauge here shows you the latency. So if you needed to test a MIDI connection, this is where you would do that, right here. It'll show a little yellow bar, and we may dive into that a little bit later. So once you're connected to the network, you know, Vincent's iPhone's connected, you could close this out. You're actually done with that part. So that's what you do right off the bat. Then we're going to open up ProPresenter. Like I said, this demo is for ProPresenter 7. Um, lots of great features in this one. All right, so a couple things we need to do in ProPresenter. Okay. Uh, we're going to have, we're going to go over here to ProPresenter. We're going to hit the General tab. Okay. And you're going to see all your different connections in here. We have Devices. Okay. That's what we need to connect to to get this MIDI network going. You've got a bunch of different options but devices and you see nothing's here. So we're going to create this network by hitting this plus sign right here and it's going to ask us what do we want? Well we want MIDI. So we're going to hit MIDI and then see right here under sources and destinations we've got playback automation. Remember earlier we titled that network or that session playback automation. So we're going to click those as our source and our destination. Um, I'm fairly certain you could just do the destination, but I do the uh, source and the destination. Um, you could name it something if you'd like. Uh, uh, let's just call this, uh, uh, again, playback. Playback automation. Okay. And then, you know, you can have an auto reconnect. I, I check that so that when it comes up, it just connects right to it. So here we here's where we made our connections, right? It's green. It tells us we have our connection. After we've got everything set up, we want to hit this MIDI map button. And this is kind of the last little piece of the puzzle. You have to put zero in up here and then connect, uh, click autofill. And it will automatically set up all your MIDI automation correctly for playback. Okay, so once that's done, this is a one-time thing with the autofill. Once that's done, you should be go good to go. So I'm going to switch cameras here and go to the GoPro, and I'm going to walk you through how to set up 
B. All right. So I've already got some uh, um, playback loaded up here. And what we're going to do is kind of walk through the setup on this. So the song we're kind of looking at is My Deliverer. So first and foremost, come over here. Now that Pro Presenter is all set up and ready to go, we're going to hit that little tab on the far right, the three little lines, hit Settings. We're going to jump over here to MIDI. Now I've already done it, but it's called Network Session. Okay, that's what it comes stock. It'll just say Select a Port. So you can go to Network Session. And you can choose a channel if you need to. I just have mine set the default to all channels. If you were using lights or patches or guitars or some of these others, you might want to select a channel. But for now, if we're talking about just doing lyrics, we can select all channels. And uh, that's all the setup part on this phone is. I mean, that that's it. You select the network session, close that out, and then we're going to come over here and hold the... Um, the edit tab, oh, well, I was actually already editing. Let me get out of that. Uh, don't save the cloud real quick. All right, so if we want to edit our lyrics, we'll just hold the edit tab. We'll pull up MIDI cues. Hopefully you guys can see that, um, I hope. Uh, MIDI cues, okay. Now we're simply ready to edit. I mean, we can edit it in real time. Like if I wanted to start with an intro video, we could, or uh, any kind of looping slide, we can press this button right here. And, and it's going to ask us, what is this? It's Well, it's lyrics. You have all these other options, but we're using lyrics. Don't worry about the note value, uh, at least in the velocity. That's already been preset for you. And then you simply press Add. Okay. Okay, something else I forgot to kind of mention. If you need to edit a cue, you hold down this button, and you can either nudge it or delete it. Um, I've used the nudge feature a few times, but sometimes it I feel like it doesn't work exactly like I want it to. Um, so if you select this cue here and you know nudge it over like I just did to put that one more you know closer to the beginning we can say no um, and then for instance that cues way off so we can hold down our edit button MIDI cues and once we get in there we can select the particular cue we need to work with let's see here like by pressing um, over and back we can either nudge the cue, which we're going to try that. Nudge MIDI cue because it's way off. It needs more than a nudge. It's pretty far off. That's actually for verse 1. So let's just see how crazy we can get with this thing. Um, that's almost two measures off. So we're almost there. Second instrumental for verse 1. Uh, get on over there. Alright, almost there. Okay, we'll call that good. And then we'll roll this back to the beginning. One. And play two, through it and you see intro, it. Two, three, and, four. Um, put my graphic up there. Intro. And then when it hits this verse cue right here, you should see it throw the first verse up there. Okay, so I've got Pro Presenter program to stop the media and just start a lower third. So we have video overlaying on ours. And then as the song plays, you just hit this plus key where you want the lyric to change. See? And you could sit through the song and just kind of listen through it. And uh, just roll along by just pressing the plus key and. Yeah, so that's that's kind of it. I mean, um, once you're done, you, you know, you save it to the cloud or nudge or do what you need to. I'm not going to save this to the cloud. Don't save to the cloud. And we'll roll it back and just see if, um, if it starts over. So it should hit that first cue and go to my video up there. Let's see, play. One, two. Yep. Intro. Two, three, four. I'll move this a little closer. Hopefully it's not too shaky for you guys so you can see and it's coming up on the first verse cue now and that's it um, that's pretty much all there is to 
the playback. Now a couple quick tips. If you do lose connection, just go down to your audio MIDI setup and uh, you know just kind of double check that you're connected. Remember, hit the little globe, go to your iPhone. If you see it over here in the participants area, you know you're uh, good to go. Also a quick thing to check, if you're not getting your lyrics to change, look in here under this bar right here and make sure you're seeing um, MIDI automation One, there. See, two, as it went just then, two, three, my lyric four, changed, but if it wasn't changing, you at least need to have MIDI coming through right there. Let me, uh, let me jump it to another one. All right, now watch. You'll see a red line pop up right there. Okay, that lets you know if this part's working, if you do not have MIDI in here, it's pointless to go back to Pro Presenter. That means your Mac is not receiving MIDI, so start back at the beginning of the steps. Hopefully this helps you guys, and uh, it'll uh, help you lead worship a little better. Take the burden of pressing spacebar off your team.